<laughs> good day, good day. How the honk are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan. Oh, and have I got something for you today? Yes, it's a one of Wednesday. There's a little clue of what's going on, but I got it in a box. Yes, it's going to be an unboxing one of Wednesday today. What excitement. Well, if you are just new to the channel, my name is uh, your friend Dano. Uh, this is Roverland, the channel that's anything and everything Land Rovers. And uh, one on Wednesday, we've been going through my uh, Land Rover collection and uh, looking at uh, some of the oddball one of castings that I have. And I bought another one. Yes. And uh, that's the clue. Do you recognize that one? Well, I'll tag the video for that one at the end. I don't know why it's over there. Maybe it's over there, but anyway, I'll tag the video because I did one on this one and I bought its little brother. I think that's what this one is. So let's check it out. Oh yeah, and I always clip off. I always, uh, where is it? I always take off the, uh, the shipping label. Yeah, and I save them. I don't know why. So this one comes from Lafayette. NY, New York, Lafayette, New York. All right, check it out. Let's see what we got, huh? Let's get right into it. Don't uh, delay any longer. I got a big white bag. Yes, a big white bag. All right. Oh, this is a beauty. You guys are just gonna, just gonna love this one. I really didn't hear much more about uh, the uh, this brand. Um, I'm looking for help and aid, but bam, check that baby out. Look at that. Now, what in the world, Dano, are we looking at? Well, you ready? But bam Oh boy, this is going to be hard to see. <laughs> Let's see if we can zoom in and we can see it. This is made in Hong Kong. And this does not say what they told me it was supposed to be on eBay. Yes, I bought this on eBay and they told me that this was a certain brand name. And uh, that brand name is not showing up on here. There was not a picture of it. So that just kind of shoots. Let's see if there's anything over here kind of shoots uh, being uh, a cousin to the other truck that I got to show you here. Maybe there will be some similarities or whatnot. Maybe not. I don't know. So let's see. Just a quick look around here. You're seeing this. Uh, I'm seeing this for the first time like you're seeing this for the first time. So very, very interesting. Very interesting. No markings whatsoever on the bottom except for made in Hong Kong what are we gonna do now all right well let's zoom out here and uh, see what we can do here all right well the way well uh, once again I bought this on eBay uh, I really have a thing for plastic uh, oddball trucks like this toys like this and uh, this was advertised to being, yes, the Salada, the Tel, Tel Salada uh, brand made in Hong Kong. That's what it was advertised to be, but it is not even close to the same scale or size that uh, the Tel Salada brand is made in so this is uh i don't know for sure if that's gonna be the right qualifications for it there i'm not sure but moving right along boy if you guys know comment down below all right let's zoom back in here and see if we can just kind of take a look at this model a little bit closer I know it's going to be kind of hard. That white really is reflective. What we're looking at is a Series 2 Eggs on the Grill. 
Uh, is that series two or series one? Oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm having a brain fart now. Series one had the eggs on the grill. Yes. Uh, very, very interesting. Um, it does have uh, a um, blue windows there and a little hatch. Little hatch. I don't, it's kind of, I think that pops off and closes but I don't know if I really want to do that or not but it's kind of slid down there a little bit if you can see that but uh pretty solid I think that's kind of transparent blue yeah it is transparent if you look through the hole here you can see on the back side there my finger you can see uh white with uh, black zebra stripes and you say Dan Dan oh we kind of recognize this pattern Look at the rear end, it's got some kind of a tail, uh, tail hook there, a uh, trailer hook. Not bad uh, detailings really, I mean, uh, it's got the boxes there on the ribs. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. It does have like, um, you know, holes for like some kind of... Uh, attachment or something in there now this one the back wheels are kind of broken on it um, they're not they're not good yeah but they are uh, plastic wheels I believe that's uh, one piece wheels and they're just painted painted silver the center uh, I guess hubcaps yeah are painted silver yeah so uh, very, very kind of cool there. All right, so yeah, you're saying, uh, Dan, oh, that kind of looks familiar, yeah. And as you guys all know, these uh, made in Hong Kong guys like to uh, copy things. Yeah, so here it is. This is what they copied. But bam Yeah, the Lions of Long, Long, uh, Longlet. Yes, this is a Corgi model that they uh, kind of copied after, the Whiz Wheels. Now, this is an older one. There are newer ones with the older uh, Corgi, um, uh, you know, the aluminum wheels. Yes, and you see it has the little opening here for the little dude to be in, uh, you know, Series 1. But you can see the, the resemblance. And uh, if we can, kind of, without dropping them, yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, look at there. Look at how close they are. We'll match up the nose. And you can see on the tail end here how close they are to being um, the same thing. But I suppose uh, Hong Kong changed enough of it so they wouldn't get into trouble copying it, I guess. I don't know. It's uh, I'm not sure how that works, but I mean, it still has the hole there in the back. You know, the back uh, bed area. I mean, obviously, the zebra stripes aren't the same, and the wheels aren't the same. But uh, this is, uh, yeah, this is a copy of the old corgi. You know, man, oh man, you can't. You can't copy much more accurate than that. I mean, you see, you've got the, the parallel rib lines coming down the, <laughs> the body work. Unbelievable, huh? That is unbelievable. Well, if you guys, uh oh, we're tipping that guy over. He's going to jump right out there. Holy cow. <laughs> All right, so there we go. That's what we got a one up Wednesday. Uh, I was hoping that it uh, would say, because it was kind of advertised as this. Now, I, like I say, I bought this on eBay. I paid $7. I paid $7 for it. Um, and uh, I think that was including the shipping, maybe a couple of bucks of shipping there. But it wasn't, it was more than I normally spend. But uh, it was out there and it came too. So I'm like, all right, that sounds good. Whoa, 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 whoa this is running away on me. But there you go. Do you have you seen such a bugger before, huh? 
This is, yeah, quite an addition to my collection. That's going to be great. I, I'm not disappointed. It's just I thought we would have more information that we could go on, and I could tell you a little bit more about the Tel, Tel Saladin. I, and I'm not sure how to pronounce that really, but um, yeah, it's not what it is. <laughs> All right, well, there we go. One of Wednesday, and we unboxed us a one of a copy of a corgi that was supposed to be one of them near, but it's not, I think. Comment down below if you know anything about this or if you have one or if you have the attachments or the guy. What all came with this or the picture of the box set that it came in. Let me know. How? Come on over to Facebook. Yeah, Roverland. Join up if you're not a member. We're almost, uh, yeah, just over 200 members over there. But drop some pictures in the comments and Roverland or on Instagram at Roverland Channel. And that's it for today. Happy one of Wednesday to you. This is your friend Dano. As always, slow traffic keep right and have a great Rover day.